Yeah, it's a list you probably don't want to be on, right, Kev D? So have a look behind me here. It's not just potholes. We're talking construction, congestion, the lumps and bumps all in the road. Look at the road conditions here. We're on uh, uh, Bloor Street, just near Avenue. There's a lot to complain about with the motorists, cyclists, uh, and everyone alike. Joining me now, Elliot Silverstein with the CAA. Elliot, uh, you're launching this campaign with us this morning here. What are you looking for? What are the big complaints? So the big complaints we hear uh, every year are that people are uh, frustrated with the congestion, some of the pothole issues, the damage to their vehicles, and just really the overall the wear and tear on the roads and ultimately their vehicles as well. Let's talk about in the past, the on the list in Toronto, we've seen a couple repeat offenders, including Dufferin and Bayview. What's so specific about those roads and what improvements have we seen? So really, I think that the, the roads that are used very heavily are the ones that are appearing on the list year over year. Dufferin is one example where it was number one for two consecutive years, and then actually last year dropped to number nine provincially. Um, and that's because the city has been working uh, diligently to really fix uh, different stretches of Dufferin, and uh, we're seeing uh, constant improvements there. And we saw that even years ago with, uh, with other roads like Steele's. What's really important to note, Kevin mentioned, is that this isn't just a fun list that people vote on. Change can happen from here because you present it to various levels of government and say, hey, we need to do something about these roads, right? Absolutely. It's very important. Uh, we, we do encourage people to go to caaworseroads.com to vote. Um, these, this, this information actually helps us uh, work with all levels of government, talk about the need for uh, funding for roads and infrastructure, and uh, really your voice matters. This is your opportunity to really have a say in, uh, in helping us talk about the need for uh, better road repairs for all road users. What's interesting, um, let's let's put this into perspective, Steels used to be a repeat offender. Where is Steels now on your list? So Steels hasn't been on the list uh, in almost a decade. It's uh, It's gone through uh, a number of uh, repairs and certainly was uh, number one on our list for at least three or four years. And uh, um, I think that the city uh, got the message that it was a pain point for a lot of uh, motorists in the north end of the city. Okay, so if you want to vote, uh, let's talk about how you do it. You mentioned your website. Can you do it uh, through other ways, through social media? So uh, you, you have to go to the, the website, caaworseroads.com. There are some uh, some ways to share your uh, your frustrations. We're using the hashtag ONWorseRoads for Ontario Worst Roads. And uh, really, we were hoping to try and get everything collected between now and May 1st. And uh, we'll release the uh, top 10 list provincially and our regional uh, top 10 provincially, top 5 regional uh, later this uh, spring. Any limitations? Are we talking about highways as well, or, or just side roads? It's it's any roads. It's really I think what what is uh, what is a pain point for people on their daily commute in their local communities or as they're traveling in and around the province. Not just drivers as well. You want to hear from cyclists, pedestrians. We want to hear from everybody because everybody uses the road in a different manner, and certainly uh, the frustrations and the pain points for cyclists are different than those of pedestrians, are different than those of uh, motorists, and I think that everybody has an important role to help uh, improve our infrastructure across Ontario. You mentioned something to me earlier. Everyone just assumes everyone else is going to complain about the roads, right? They say, there's that pothole again, but if you don't have your voice heard, change cannot happen. Absolutely. We actually did a survey not too long ago, and about two-thirds of uh, respondents don't do anything. They don't call 311. They don't reach out to their local politicians or politicians public works departments. Um, really, if, I mean, if you're not doing that, this is an opportunity to take uh, 30 seconds, fill out the information, and uh, try and make a change in your local community. Good. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you. it, Elliot. Uh, later on in the morning, by the way, the City of Toronto is launching their construction schedule for the summer, which is always fun. So we'll be covering that on citynews.ca. Also, I've got some more closures for you in and around the city. That's coming up here on BT. Back to you guys.